Well, the situation then is that this is work I could just walk away from or I could do. The truth of the matter is that this van, this caravan, is not unique but unusual in that it is eight foot wide rather than seven foot six wide which is the standard width for most caravans that's my new caravan over there also this particular caravan is as big a caravan as you can have in the uk really pretty much anywhere before you get into full showman size which needs a lorry to pull it um because it's been built as a live-in caravan, that is to say it's designed to be lived in full-time, rather than a touring caravan, which is what most caravans are, this has been built to a much higher tolerance, a much greater level of insulation and so on. And even though it's older than my caravan over there, my new caravan over there, you, as soon as you walk in, there is a difference that feels different. And I'd like almost to walk over to the other caravan and show you the difference but i'm not sure you'd actually come through on a video so that's that so fundamentally it's because this particular caravan is as big as you're going to get in terms of width and length now yes you can now get eight foot wide caravans in the uk but they've only been out for about the last two or three years and they're fearsomely expensive as a result whereas this i already own now, if I strip out, this is my intention, okay? Just just so we're quite clear about what I'm planning to do. This is a king-size bed frame with a double mattress on it, okay? And the other big problem with these particular vans is they're built as dry vans. That's to say, no plumbing whatsoever for reasons which are a little bit unfathomable nevertheless. So, anyway, going back to the whole point here. So, what the plan is, is that this front bedroom area that bed is going to go in fact everything's going to be stripped out um this stuff around the edge in that can all go because that's for a heating system which is now obsolete been taken out um the only thing i'm leaving in here are those storage lockers because they're built in and it seems a shame to take them out i will take the um handles off and repaint them but whether i spray them or paint them or whatever remains to be seen Everything else, I think, we'll take that fitting out, obviously. I'll be replacing those roof lights with clear roof lights that open properly, like a window rather than like that. Um, and at the moment, I am thinking, although well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, I was thinking of re everything. Um, I would say repaint it, but the trouble is, if you vinyl it, the advantage is that once it's done, you can just wipe it and it will never wear off. Unlike paint. Also, once you vinyl it, once the vinyl's on, that's it, it's on. It's not like paint, you've got to wait for it to dry. So it's fairly instant in that regard. But whether or not I'll be able to do it, I don't know. It might be a case of just washing this or cleaning it. I don't think I can get away with just cleaning it either. Looking at it, we've had damp in these corners at some point. I don't think it's that significant. I think actually it's where the idiot before me who had a habit of going around and taking screws out at every other screw hole and then using the screws elsewhere. There, there's an example there, look. Screw missing, screw, screw. Because he's taken every other one out and used it elsewhere because he's an idiot. And he did that down the outside to get a load of screws for whatever reason. And in so doing has left a small hole in the corners where water's got in. What a bell end. Anyway... So, anyway, so the plan is we will take all of this out and this will then have a double bed running as a fixed bed running across, which finishes about 18 inches or so from the base. Uh, here, there is going to be a um, slightly larger than this space here, but effectively the same shape, wardrobe. This here will be a wall running right across, which will have a door in it, a sliding door in it, sliding probably that way, which will bring us into the bathroom area. 
This bathroom area is going to be, that window is being blocked off. All those units are being taken down and that as well. So the bathroom will be effectively to about here. And that is going to be the walk-in shower, this area here. And this side will be the toilet and sink. Uh, the sliding doors will then open here, which again, it's difficult to get a good perspective on everything. But um, effectively here, more or less to obviously there um that will be the that will be the the bathroom area so it's probably about to here i guess yes about here sorry about here back to this edge here across to give you an idea so you have a big shower on the right hand side sliding doors both ends bathroom oh uh, sorry toilet and sink up here and you can have it so it's open all day just wide open with just the the, the effectively the shower wall or shower window there so you can just walk straight through that's the theory and the bed obviously will be across the end rather than this way around um here is a quandary with what's left, do we go for a decent sized kitchen and very little seating or do we go for all seating and put the kitchen completely outside? These are things that are yet to be thought about. Um, it's going to be a static oven probably here if I do put one in here because there happens to be a flue above. Um, and where all this is that's obviously going to go and I'll probably just buy a sofa, just a normal corner sofa and put it in there. With the idea being that that will then become the entertainment wall, but I'll be taking that that board off, and obviously this bit off, um, and redoing it as a single piece, cutting tight on probably twelve mil ply, and then sandwich between that and the outside where someone's nicked a window's basically what's happened. But I'll sandwich the whole thing in like it is now with these bolts, so it's on there permanent. But then yeah, put shelves on it and stuff, and have a full entertainment wall there. That's the theory. That's the theory. That's the theory. Now we're going to lose this, obviously. Um, this will go and so on. Um, as a space. Oh, the other thing is, this is all broken. This skylight is all broken. And unfortunately, I'm not. It, it may be beyond me to actually replace it. Also, all the blinds need replacing. All the blinds need replacing. All the way around. Whether or not we keep any of the trim. Which I might, because it's not actually broken though. This this outside trim edge isn't broken. It's horrible, but it's not broken. So I could potentially spray that, put it a different colour, or even just paint it, whatever. Um, and and have just roller blinds rather than they're brilliant. These fly screens, and then you got the thermal blind underneath it, which is great. I could just maybe buy new blinds, but I th yeah, I've got a feeling they're going to be expensive and getting them on the right side is going to be tricky. And I can look, I can see what I can find, but if not, it's just going to be normal blackout blinds, I'm afraid. So there you go. That's a massive bloody video. It gives you an idea. So I have been living in here on my own now for however long it's been since Jackie left, which was August 2018, 19, whatever it was. 18, 2018. Um... And it has served me very well, and it has been warm, and it has been snug, and it has been a fucking haven in an otherwise very inhospitable world. This has kept me safe and kept me sane and, and all that. So I'll be doing it up. But just by comparison, for the sake of it, because we're here, and because I'm going to load it up, and it's going to take about five years to load onto YouTube, and you might as well watch the whole thing, I will take you to the other caravan just to see if there is any sense of it being any different all right now this is the old awning and i will be replacing the awning with a new awning um and this is obviously very very tatty at the moment because it's got everything that's just been bought across and dumped because i'm not sure where i'm staying here staying on this pitch staying in this caravan doing whatever so it's all just been dumped for now so my apologies in that regard but this is the awning which 
as you can see, does provide quite a decent amount of space. Now on the other caravan, because it's even longer, the awning will be even bigger. This was on the other awning, uh, on the other caravan, but it was never big enough because it didn't actually stretch the whole length of the caravan, whereas it's, this one actually fits. Anyway, so this is the this is a touring caravan rather than a living. Oh, hey, you young lady, where do you think you're going? That's a dog going out the door. Get out of the back. Now, it might sound, seem all quite plush in here, but I can tell you straight away, the whole room feels thinner. Hello, darling. Oh, you are such a good girl. You are. Not running off or doing anything naughty? No. Come on, then. Quickly. Now, obviously, the sort of standard and finish that we're looking at here is what we're looking for. Oops, sorry. Is what we're looking for in the other caravan. You know, I really am looking at luxury, not just functionality in the other caravan. One of the problems with this van is because it's now getting a little bit old, there are things like, when you come into the bathroom, when you come into the bathroom, first of all, you've got a manual flush loo rather than an electric flush, which means replacing it. If you want an electric flush, which I would prefer, obviously. Here, this is, this is cracked and this is now leaking. So when you fill the sink up, water leaks into the thing underneath. Um, the shower's fine, the shower's fine, there's nothing wrong with the shower, it's a perfectly decent sized shower. Um, but it's not huge, and and I'd prefer, if I had a bigger caravan and all the space I wanted in the world, I'd, I'd lay it out a bit differently, that's all. So, there you go, so this is this caravan, which is nothing wrong with it, £5,000, somewhere to live, you know, nice big skylights. It's a nice place to live. Nothing wrong with it. Clean the space. But not what the other one is, which is a flipping mansion by comparison. In terms of size. I mean, I know it seems relatively small. But honestly, it's a huge difference. Huge difference if you're actually living in it. I know it's only sort of six inches width and, and, and as it happens, another three foot in length, which seems like nothing. But... Well, again, look, walk straight from one to the other. You'll feel the difference. I think for a start, it's bloody quieter. This is a different fucking ball game. The whole thing feels different. It's warmer. It's quieter. The whole thing's better built. It's just the insides needs completely retaken out. Right, okay. Enough of this old shenanigans then. Right, I think this dog wants to go out for a walk. There are some lovely walks around here, I must admit, where no one goes. Right. <gasps> Puppy dog. Speak to you later.